Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Hello, this might be different. This is a quick intro to a video we're gonna be doing on location. We are gonna go visit a node and we're gonna ask a couple of questions about what the node does for the actual NBN network. No, we're not literally gonna to talk to it, but guys, let's answer the question, what exactly is a node? Where did it come from and what does it do? So I'll see you guys on location. The concept of the humble pillar was won by a competitive design process proudly by Telecom Australia and the system was introduced into telecom networks in 1955. It was designed in Australia by GPC in conjunction with Telecom Australia engineers. As in normal in the telecommunication industry, developments such as these have in the past proven that Australia can hold its own on telecommunications network development worldwide. The challenge of connecting all Australian residents, whether possible, to the national telecommunication network was and still is a major feat. However, the passage of time and the growth of suburbia, the system had a chance of being implemented with the telecom network in an orderly way. The basic function of the pillar was to provide a sealed enclosure where a cross connection of copper services could be managed close to the customer, the average distribution area in approximately 200 customers. Therefore, the standard product aims to service all customers up to 500 meters from this cross connection point. The pillar count capacity of a standard pillar is 900. Broken down, it allows 200 pairs incoming, which is the exchange side, 200 pairs outgoing and to the customer side, and 500 pairs for spare capacity. There are also two variants in the common product, a 300 pair and an 1800 pair capacity pillar. Both of these products exist in the telecom network at a much lower rate. The pillar is pressurized, which enables it to sustain relatively high levels of submission under water. The feature has proven itself time and time again since 1956. The product has also been taken up by other carriers around the world and other utilized locally in Australia. With the advent of fiber to the home and the proposed to build ubiquitous networks in Australia, the pillar was realigned to a secondary role. However, recently in the once again taken a primary role in the fiber to the curb proposal of the new government, or as you may also know it as fiber to the node. It will provide high speed services to customers at a rollout rate that cannot be matched by the provision of fiber to the home network. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that has been a little bit educational. I'm actually putting it together a much longer video explaining the whole step of how it goes from that node down to your house and into your internet, into your computer. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys think about this quick video. Uh, and if you have any other ideas what the node does or another way to fix this 60 year old technology that we're using right now to basically supplement the internet infrastructure that is NBN Co. Like, subscribe, and guys, I'll catch you in another video. Thank you very much.